Well, Mick, fantastic performance against a, a strong Burnley team. Just give us your thoughts on that. Uh, I think that's probably as good as we've been all season. Um, these are the games that we want. We want, ideally, teams to go strong where they can. It's not always the case, um, obviously, given around the first team fixtures, but it's dropped good for us this week. and. They've thrown a few experienced and more senior pros in and these, as I say, these are the tests we want and uh, credit to the lads today, I thought they were outstanding. Do you think it brought a little bit more out of our lads today, seeing that what the Burnley lineup was? No, uh, I really don't. I think that we've had that a few times this year. We went across to Wigan, um, they threw a few senior lads in when we were younger um, and I think it's just a case of our lads getting on with it. You know, We always work on how we're going to approach games, there's a plan there. But as Dale always reminds us that nine times out of ten, regardless of who we're playing, you fall back on your programme, your day-to-day -day work. Um, and today I thought that came out in abundance. Was that the most impressive thing today, how all three units really seemed to gel together? The football was good, created so many chances, solid at the back, and, and it was a real complete performance throughout the 90 minutes. It was, yeah. Um, and because obviously they mirror the first team, we know that they're going to try and play. We know that they're going to ask questions of you. They're going to move into unorthodox positions with the full-backs coming inside, etc. And you've got to be ready for it. And we talked a lot about being disciplined, being structured in how we went about it, but the main thing, communicating. Um, and I saw that again you know, in, in, in spades today, and I thought that's why we uh, we were able to get in the ascendancy. But credit to the lads, you know, as good as we were without the ball, I thought we were just as good with it, and some of the football at times was, was as good as we've played. Yeah, you spoke the last couple of games about not getting into a lull, you know, not letting performances drop off. Was, was that the message again today? Obviously, they're one win away now from, from another Northern title, and trying to keep that momentum going. Yeah, I mean, that's a challenge in itself. You know, and credit to the lads. Um, the league is important to us because we, we want to play for something. It's not the be-all and end-all because we're about developing individuals, but we need something to be going after. And to have such a big lead and to keep that kind of fire in the bellies, regardless of who's out there. Um, you know, we've had different teams on, on many different occasions. And whoever gets picked and whoever goes out there always gives 100%. And today they've got the rewards of that against a very good side. Was there anything in particular today that stood out that, that really impressed you about the performance? Uh, clean sheet, because those games are easy when you get on top and you go two, three, four, all of a sudden you start doing things that you didn't do at the start of the game. So I thought the professionalism in the performance, which is what we asked for, we said that if we found areas that we were having success with, stick with it, don't come away from it, don't start making the game about yourself. And they did that, uh, and the reward for that was you know, a solid in-possession performance, but then a clean sheet as well. And for credit to Dewey for that, because at 1-0 uh, to us, he's obviously made a massive save. Um, and that's what keepers get paid for, really. You know, he's, he's had, He hadn't had much to do up to that point, and then when you were called upon, he saved us. So nothing but well done, um, you know, but we quickly move on, dust ourselves down, and we get back to work in Thursday. Thank you.